Shane Breen and Michael Duffy who are going into action in case you hadn't guessed for the Miami Celtics. Shane, now for you coming out into action this time. Now you've been over the years training this man a little bit as well, haven't you? Yeah, Michael and myself are very good friends and uh, we know one another very well. We've done a couple of team competitions before, so very much looking forward to this weekend. Now I don't want to put the pressure on you, but he came to his first GCL last year and won it. <laughs> I know, he's just said to me there, I said, what have you done with the hat? And he said, well, we get another one this year, so I hope I don't let him down. All on for another hat this year. Absolutely, um, back again, fantastic show, and horses feel great now. We just have to back each other up now and, and get it done. Good bit of team spirit. Now, you're one of the younger riders on the team. How old are you now? Uh, I'm getting old now, I'm 24. 24? Are you still already 25, though? And you're joined this year by uh, Harry Charles on the squad as well. I, I mean, we, do, we were a bit unlucky in the end in Doha. We were both clear the first day. I think we were the youngest team out probably in a while. Um, so yeah, we have, a, we have a good mixture of, of um, older guys too who, with, the, with, with years behind them in Shane and Cameron. Um, experience, that's what we put it down to. Absolutely, Shane pushing all 27 at the moment right now. Shane, from your point of view, uh, you know, you've ridden in lots of arenas around the world, plenty of big grass arenas like this. What's, what's the, the differences between riding you know, on, a, on a sand arena like we'll have next, next week in Miami? I know that one's small, but riding on a sand arena and then coming into this. Oh, it's an interesting question, Steve. It's um, totally different. This is a fantastic um, surface to ride on, grass, a uh, very big um, arena, lots of space between the jumps um, versus next week and some of the other venues where uh, you're on sand, you're in tighter arenas. Um, the horses nowadays, they're very versatile and they seem to take to it quite well. And um, the riders at the end of the day, it's up to us to put them in the position to jump the fence put them in the right and the right stride and um, so I think you know from our point of view our our job is to put them in the right place for takeoff well pressure on Michael from your point of view coming on after a win of course you did plenty of competitions since then last year how is your thought process different I mean last year it might have been a little bit of even naivety in there coming into this to, to what you see now absolutely like last year I didn't really know what to expect also, it was a little bit of a fairy tale story, the way we came into the second day on, in sixth place and then Dennis and I watched him clear and, and we just kept climbing and climbing. Um, I suppose now we've had a year under our belt, um, with some great horses again. It's all about now just sticking to the plan and, and getting it done, really. And the strength in the team, Shane, from, from top to bottom, winning any leg of this is not going to be easy. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, every, every team, all 16 teams are extremely strong and um, you have the option after day one you can bring in a substitution you can substitute horse rider combination or one or the other so um, it's pressure all the way absolutely well pressure on you boys good luck uh, you're going to be walking the course so uh, i'll let you carry on with that good luck michael thanks steve thanks thanks shane thank you